All right, guys. So welcome to this teaching. Um, please, before you go through this video, I would like you guys to go to the previous teachers from the day one to the day nine. All right. Just simply um go to the playlist section of this channel and click on um um October twenty twenty three mentorship. And you will see the previous videos, right? Do want to do that before coming over here, right? So that you can get a better feel for what you are doing, right? So, um, let us talk about other blocks, right? Um, please like this video, subscribe. This is a free teaching. The only two things we ask you to do, or the only things that I require of you, is just simply comment a notepad to jot and write down things. And then the second thing that we require of you is just to copy the link and share with your friends those are the only two things we ask of you come with the notes part and share the link with your friends we're not asking to do anything more than these two things right so it's free and these videos will be available to the end of next month so once we wrap up this call from now to the end of next month which is november 30th then this video will be available but once we hit first december we're going to remove all these teachings and put it to us in our paid mentorship so make sure you take full advantage of this um, teaching when it's available for the, for the next um, one month or thereabouts. So you have to watch these videos on before it is taken down. Because once we hit 1st of December 2023, we're going to take it off YouTube and put it on our paid mentorship. Right? Because these teachers are very valuable. It's not something that I think that should be for free that long. All right. So let us talk about it. So what's an other block? An other block in this cruelest um, the, um definition is what a change in the state of price delivery. That is the definition of other block, right? The change in the state of price delivery. So the market is delivering on the downside and then it's not delivering on the upside. That's also referred to as what's the other block, right? It's a change in the state of price delivery. All right, so now. There are two things that we'll actually look at as validates on other block. Right? The things that validate on other block. Number one, we we'll look at the trend, right? And look at what the level of displacement. So we must look at the trend and level of displacement for it to actually um, validate on other block. So we must look at the trend and the level of displacement. So that's what we validate on other block. So always consider the trend, the market bullish or bearish, and then the level of displacement. And now other blocks are classified into two. We have the bullish order blocks and then the bearish order block, right? The bullish and the bearish. So bullish is one we buy from and bearish is one we sell from. All right. So now, now let us look at other block from its coolest point. Now let's as well this let us have um, the first one, which is what the bullish order block. Right? Let's have on the bullish. Right? Let's have on the bullish. Right. So let's have on the bullish. The bullish. All right. So the bullish order block. So if, if an order block is bullish, how do we identify a bullish order block? So there are things we look at. Number one, we look at what the high. So we look at the high of the candle. So we highlight the high of the candle. And if we want to validate an order block, we want to see price do what? We want to see price trade above the high of the order blocks. So market is going to be trading down. Market wants to trade above what the high of the order block. So once the high of the order block is, is violated with displacement, then that now becomes what an order block, right? So once the high of the candle is traded through, then we now look at the next thing, this was the open of the other block. So this close present because of a level of interest, because that is where most of the volatility of the candle rests. So when the market breaks through the high of the other block, then we look at what the open for what our buy entries. So our buy should always be our the open of the other block. Let me just um adjust that soon. So the 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 open of the other block is where we look at for for our buys, right? Look at our buys at the open, right? I'll just quickly do something here. I don't know why it's this this messing up. All right, so um, let me move the TP up. This is um three four fifty three four fifty. So one nine. One I can okay, you must quickly type in that. Sorry, just give me a moment. I don't know. Sometimes this is always acting up. 
So what let us quickly put in the level so that you can you can actually function right so nine three. All right, so, so the the other block now becomes what the the open of the other block now becomes what our area of interest, right? So look at taking our trade at the open of the other block, like this op this close price, sorry, was a bridge that block opens below and then this. So we're looking at what the open or sorry, or the close price of the other block. So this becomes what our area of interest of our buys. So when the market breaks through this other block, then we can look for this one of our buys, they can look forward to come back here and then we can look forward buy opportunities. So we are looking at that place for our buys, the open price, but that is where most of the volatility of the candle rests. So Open price is where we look at for, for so the close price is where we look at for what, our, our other block price. So when the market breaks to the highest of that block, we look at what the open price or the close price. So because market opens below for a bullish candle and closes above. So for a bullish for the for this, look at what this level for what, our entries. So note that this is this other block is time frame dependent. So for a higher time frame, it's always best to look at for what you look at for what confirmations, right? So for high time frame, you always have to look at what confirmation to validate if the other block is worth trading or it's not worth trading, right? So we're looking for a confirmation for a higher time frame. Why for a lower time frame, you can simply treat other block directly. So knows that the other block is what time frame dependence. So time frame is important. So you have to look at time frame. Time frame matters, right? So you have to look at time frame. So time frame matters when trading another block. Is it at a daily chart or a five minute chart. So for a higher time frame, I repeat, for a bigger time, like a daily four hour weekly, we don't split, treat other blocks this way. Wait for the market to give us a lower time frame confirmation. Why for a lower time frame, we cannot simply play an other block directly. This is for a bullish other block. So let's say when just trace through the high, then we have what? Our other block, right? We have our other block. Very, very easy to spot, right? So now we have understood that the next thing we have to understand is what? The stop loss placement. So stop loss placement can either be what as below or the open price of the other block. It can be below this open price, or you can send it below the week. So can that be at the open price or the week? So it depends on you. So the best place to place another block is what at, the, at this place. But if you're not really sure of where to place it, you can put your, your entry at what the high of the other block. So if you're not really sure that the, because you know sometimes different time frames can look different. So 30 minutes charts can be looking different from a one hour chart. So if you're really confused about the time frame to use for your other block, don't simply place your limit at what at the what the open price, right? Let me that what the open price of so at the high of the other block. So here can be the area you can place your limit and then stop loss can either be at below the body or below the week. So there is no 100 percent way of treating other blocks. Can put your limit in stop loss below the low or below the body. So for a bridge other block, market should not go below this point, it should not trade below what this um, open should not go below it. If market wants to respect another block, she didn't even go below the half point. She just did away quickly. So she didn't really come that far to be going um, below what the, this place. Right. So to be fair, stop loss should be what below what this open price. That's where other blocks stop loss should be. Right. If you are trading other blocks from the open price, the also use the high if you wish. If maybe the, the time frames are really, really confusing and you're not really sure of what to do, just simply play what the open price of the other block. I'm oh, sorry, let's simply play the high of the other block, right? I don't know I keep saying open price. So that is for a bullish. Now for a bearish example, we have to take everything to the upside. So we cannot type this as bearish. So let's quickly type that in bearish. So for a bearish other block, you have to understand that a bearish other block, we consider what they lose, right? In this scenario now, we're considering what they lose. So we can take this off. So now the lose now become important. So can we're considering the lose. And we're also considering what this a this level, this level, lower level now. This is for a pressure that block now. So for a pressure that block, the market is doing what is um market is trading up once it does what it breaks. So let me do that nicely. So market once the market breaks the low of the other block, right? Then we can look at what this area for what ourselves. So you can look at this area for yourselves. That becomes an area of interest for your what your bearish order block, right? So once again, I have to type in the levels. Um, stop loss should be at um eight seven four seven, right? So I don't know why. Sorry. 
All right. All right. So take profit should be at um, 7604. So I have to put this manually. I don't know why it's not letting me put it. So 76. All right. So you can see now for, for a for a bear shoulder block, the close price when you're looking at right this level here, also the open price. So no, I'm saying close. The open price is where you're looking at. So for a bearish order block, the market opens here and closes above, right? So when the market trades below what that's low of a candle, that's um that's lower price, right? That's open price, right? Remember, it's open, open price. Even for the previous video, it's open price. I don't know, I was saying close. That's confusing sometimes, you know. Sometimes because the candle is not colored. That's why I'm, I'm saying open and close. So for the bearish order block, you look at the open price when the market breaks to the, the low. When the market goes to the low of the other block, then the open price becomes what the area of interest. So you can put yourself above what the close or above the high. So it depends on what you're seeing at the particular time. And remember that time frame matters. So for a high time frame, you're not using this. You have to wait for what the market to give you a lower time frame confirmation before you take your trade, right? So that's basically how to trade other blocks from a bullish and from a bearish standpoint. So now it's time to go through our, our charts to understand. Now, let us talk about one last thing first. Level of displacement. So level of displacement simply means how quickly the market moves. Forward. So the market, once the market move away from the other block very much. So this is what we call displacement. The market moving away from the other block very well, then coming back. So this move away from the other block with um, intent, sort of effect of displacement. So you don't want to see the market um, giving some kind of staggering move. Like, uh, like this is what I mean. And the market is doing something like this. The market is just so sluggish. It's just like this. And then you can't kind of say, no, this is not a break of another block. We don't want to see this kind of break. The market being very sluggish, just very sluggish. And then the market, no. We want to see the market do what? Displace very clearly. We want to see the market break the other block. Like, like, you already know, like this, very clearly. And then come back to that open price. I want to refer to as what? A displacement. All right. So let's go to the reach out and identify distance. All right. So let's go to the reach out. Um, Let's reset this. All right, quickly, quickly, quickly. No, let's not, we don't have time on our hand. All right, so now let us quickly start from here. Now watch this, watch this, watch this. Watch this. Watch the other block here. All right, so now watch this. So market was um, printing bearish. We have our last bullish candle here. This is it. So this is, a, this is our other block. This is the last candle before the market was. You can see how the market displaced nicely. You can see this quick move down. Market came by the other block. So you can see that, let's take that out so you can see clearly now. So watch this, the same thing happened there. You can see this last candle. So you can see Mara as an other block. The same thing happened there. Markets came back there, you can see market dropped from there. The same thing happened again. You can see another other block here. This is the last, last up candle. You can see another other block. Markets came back there, drop. If you look very closely, inside there, yes, so we have another other block. You can see a smaller other block inside the big one. You can see this smaller one here, you can see. And the markets came back there, drop. So you can see how the other blocks are always printing. See another one here, you can see. So market did not come back with this one, that is very fine. So market just kept dropping, dropping. I remember that you should not be trying to buy a, 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 the other block. You can see that we had was a bullish, a, a bullish other block. Look at this other block here, right? The reason why this is not this is because this market is bearish. The market already was broke through. So you should always tell other block that I was in line with the trend. You can see this other block, like this other block here. See this, watch this. This other block there. You can see how the market did what? You can see the displacement. market was displaced it clearly and then came back there dropped market it was made another other block here so you can see another one here what happened market it was you can see the level of this place you can see the market move very quickly from other block and then came back there bam beautiful self so you should always look at other blocks from the standpoint of what the trend so now the market finally did what the market finally broke was bullish right the market had to give what we break construction somewhere around there we had what that break construction so now we are starting what bullish other blocks and notice this other blocks can be about three or four candles. It's not always one candle. Other blocks can look like can be many candles. Right? So for instance, now look at this example. Now this this is actually one other block. Well, these are these are just, these are uh, consecutive candles. So this is actually one other block. Market actually did what made another block here. So once in, this happens when um the time frame are different. So these three candles could be one candle on maybe the fifteen minutes chart or maybe the ten minutes chart. So sometimes other block can be several candles. And it's still the same thing. So 
But for reference, if you see a very big candle, then you can also use um that specific candle. Or if you can, like now in this example now, there's no big candle apart from this one that's up here, right? You can see how these ones are very, very small. So you cannot simply use your home move, which is also another block, right? But some, some, someone else someone can say, okay, let me use this last candle. And you're not, you're not so wrong, right? But sometimes other block can be, can print in a bigger time frame and look, from other block can be like one on the, on the on the one hour chart and then like five candles on the lower time frame. So on the, if you look at this candle very carefully, you usually see like three or four candles on maybe the one minute chart. So always know that. So other block can also be different candles depending on the time frame you're looking at, right? So a like good example now, the market was kind of um sluggish, right? So you can say this or other block and all of that. So and another, another block can be used several times. So we have another block here. See another other block here. So market broke finally. We see another other block here. This move. Market broke came back to the other block again. And then what happened? We saw another other block here. See another one here. Can see market came back there nicely. Can see market tapped into the other block nicely. You can see this nice tap into the other block. The market was finally bought and then finally dropped. But the reason why it is known is because the market is what is bullish, is bearish. So the market broke somewhere around the other a break or social year. So market also market did not hold again. So you must always look at the terrain of the market. So market broke bearish. Where did they come to? We saw this other block here. You can see how the market made this other block before they were dropping. So you can see the, the displacement from this kind. You can see this displacement, right? So you can see this heavy push down. You can see the imbalance created before. So this is actually yeah, another block displacement. Market came there and then what dropped. So you can always identify other blocks on this manner, right? So let's look at the higher time frame now to also look at other blocks, right? So let's also look at the higher time frame of other blocks, right? So you can, you can have a, a balanced understanding of what we're talking about. So look at this as well. Let's start from here. So somewhere around there, we had, let's start from here. So what do we have here? We have what? Other blocks being created. So watch this, watch this, watch this. So market was based. Remember, you must always look at the trend of the market. You can see this other block created there. You can see other block here on the daily charts. I was using the open price so you can see it. So look at this other block here. Market hit it, dropped nicely. The same thing happened on um, another other block here. Watch another other block as well inside there. You can see the market came there. Nice drop. You can see another, another other block here. You can see it. Nice drop. You can see this is always print no repeats. Always print no repeats. See so another, another other block here. You can see nice drop. You can see how it's always print no repeats or repeats. And you must always look at the trend of the market. The trend of markets matters. So the market is bullish. Don't have to be uh, looking for what bearish other blocks. The market finally became bullish here. So what do we see here? We have our, our other block here. Right. Although the market did not hit it um, well, um, I will say, okay, our other block is actually this last candle here. So this is our other block, this last candle here. This is our other block. So the market did not really hit it nicely. The market broke bed and then can see another said um, buying again. Can see another other block here. See another one. You can say the high of this candle was violated there. This is a bullish other block. But the reason I wouldn't trust this is because um, this is not does not really displace it. But you can still manage it. So the market actually bought for about one day before coming back. So that's another block as well. You can see bullish other block. I can see that each other block, markets never went below what the, the, the close price, right? So you should always know that market should not go to the close price when it's really bullish. So you can see another other block here. See another one here. See another one there, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Market came back there, bought. So you can see why we should not treat bearish other block. Market was bullish. Look at how it made it was a bearish other block, which is a counter trend. Market actually sold for some days, but it finally broke above. So you can see this was a counter trend trade. I told you guys, when market take the previous daily high, you can look at what reversal. So market took at what this previous daily high here, yeah? and again, what this reversal order block. So this is a very beautiful sell, very beautiful sell. So if you are selling that, that is nice, but. Look at this. Market went through the high of this candle again. So what we have here is was another blue shadow block. So now, as market went above the high of this previous last one candle, what we have here? a blue shadow block, right? So market came back with the blue shadow block and it was bought. So if you are selling this, you have been looking at this as was a reversal. So when market goes above the high of the last previous candle, that is what and closes above it. When market goes above it and then stays above it for a while. When the market stay above it for a while, that is what we call displacement. We now have what a bullish other block, and that's how the market continue printing, printing, printing. Because another one, the market went above the high and came back to the candle. This is what we call a bullish that but there was no displacement here, although there was no displacement here, just a very quick one, just quickly moved. And you can see how this is a call on repeat. See this other block as well. You can see this one here. See this one. So 
That's how this occurs. It occurs on repeat or repeat or repeat or repeat or repeat or repeat. So now the last other block on this chart is where can we see it? This, this is the last other block on this chart currently. So I guess we come back here to sell or five. But although we have seen a bridge double printing, so watch these two places. If the market should hit here first, it might buy. If it should hit here first, so, so we have two other blocks either here or here. So the casino markets come back to hit this other block before buying, or can just go up and hit it before dropping down. So for now, I feel that this market is currently um it's currently bearish. The market has taken up this swing low. So market is currently bearish to me. I see I see the market might just go up here and then drop to give me a sell. So for now, I will just um observe, right? I will just observe to see what the market is doing. Right? So that is basically how all of are, are treated. I wish to see you guys in the next class. So have a wonderful day. Have a wonderful evening. See you guys tomorrow. Cheers and go.